Hello and welcome to Raven's Arcana. I am Raven. Thank you as always for joining me. And it's time for our weekly Terrascopes, so our weekly tarot spread for all signs. And it's going to begin today, Sunday, November 24th, and it will go to next Saturday, December 1st. So easing on into December, right? Ooh, something jumped out. <laughs> Hope everyone is having a lovely Sunday. And, uh... Good end to your week, good beginning for the week, right? Endings and beginnings. Mercury is finally in forward motion, which uh, should give us some momentum going forward. All right. And once again, reading for all signs forecast from today, November 24th, which is Sunday, to... Saturday of next week, this week, December 1st. So weird, it's December already. All right, let's do this. So we're going to start out with the three-card spread, and we'll go from there, depending on uh, how we're feeling. First card is going to be the Four of Swords reversed. Our second card is going to be the Wheel of Fortune. All righty. And our third and final card in the initial spread is going to be the Ace of Pentacles. All right. So now is not a time to rest. We just talked about Mercury going direct, getting that momentum, getting that forward motion. It is not time to rest. It is time to take action. And with the Wheel of Fortune here, you know, Jupiter is going to govern the Wheel of Fortune. So it's time for that, that growth. It's time for that forward movement, that, that expansion. It is time to everything you were working on previous to this time when Mercury was in retrograde. You were planning, you were redoing, you were uh, analyzing what you needed to perform differently so you could gain momentum, which is, you know, now we're not resting, right? Now we're uh, starting a new cycle, the wheel cycles. And you know, this couldn't be a better time to do that. This this growth, this expansion, and this manifesting with the Ace of Pentacles here. So we are manifesting now what we have been redoing, planning, analyzing in our mind while we were resting and waiting for this time to take action. Wonderful, wonderful spread here, right? So this is the time. This is the time to start taking action, to start moving on things, to start gaining some momentum, gaining some ground, implementing ideas, manifesting what has been going on, what you've been planning in your head, bringing that to fruition. And let's see how we do that. So, this has not been something that's been easy. This has not been an easy path. It has not been easy for you to wait for this time. I feel like you've had all this energy. You, you, you want to just you know take off. You want to take off on a sprint and just head for the finish line. And this has been tough for you. It's been a nightmare. This is the nightmare card. But this is all mental anguish. So this mental anguish that you've had because you were at rest, you, you were, you were, there was no forward motion, there was no movement, and you're just toiling over these ideas, causing so much grief in your head and anxiety. I can feel it, right? But now it's time. Now is your time. Now is your time with the Three of Cups. Now is the time to celebrate. Now it's the time to celebrate this manifestation just hanging out here, right? We're moving on from the anxiety, from the headache, from that mental anguish. We're going to celebrate. We're going to have some emotion released. And three is a creation number. So we're going to, you know, begin to create. And we're going to move forward. How do we do that? Through victory. You know, the ace, ace of swords is victory and clarity. So this is clarification that everything you've been going through 
everything you've been stressing out over, agonizing over, is coming to a head. There is victory in sight. You have clarity. And you are seeing now. You can see the future with this forward motion, with this manifestation, while you are taking your time, analyzing, redoing, reevaluating what you wanted to do. Now you've begun to celebrate. Now you see victory within your grasp. Right? We're going to pull some more cars. We're going to have a little fun. Now that you see that future with the hangman, you have sacrificed so much. You have sacrificed so much of your mental state. You're, you're trying to get this together, but you knew it wasn't the right time. You have sacrificed yourself to your ideas, to this new way of thinking, to this new adventure. And it's, it's going to pay off here, right? The hangman for me always, always means patience too, right? So you had the patience, patience, excuse me, to do this. This is happening the way it's supposed to happen. And you know what? The High Priestess is a magical card. Love the card. It is reversed here. For me, I'm getting that this is not, you know, this is not something that you really thought was going to happen. You didn't have the foresight. You didn't have that intuitive thing. You were, you were just sitting there, and that's why you had the nightmare. That's why you had all that going on in your head, that stress, that anxiety. That mental anguish. You didn't see this coming. You didn't see it at all. But you were patient. You were patient about it. So because you didn't, you weren't told by your intuition that this was going to happen. That's, that's where that nightmare card came from. And that makes complete sense now. But during that time, during that Mercury retrograde, during the reanalyzing, redoing, the planning, you had to uh, you had to break the chains. You had to get rid of that old behavior. You had to get rid of that old way of thinking. And now that you're moving forward, you have to leave that behind. And you are going to leave that behind. Uh, a devil and, and Capricorn. No, it's um, Saturn knows all of this. Right? So you, you have set the groundwork, the rules for yourself to move forward. Saturn's also time with Kronos. This is the time. We talked about this the whole time. This is your time to move forward, to make things happen. This manifestation, this headache you went through without even knowing what was going to happen in the future, you've made it happen. Keep it up. Doing a great job. It is your time. It is your time. You have momentum. All right. Thank you for your time here. Thanks for hanging out. If you dig the video, please give us a like. And uh, if you like what we're doing here, you want to show your support or get notifications in the future, uh, please give us a subscribe and enjoy the rest of your Sunday and definitely have a wonderful week. All righty. Take it easy.